Okay, I'm going to move on over to our software portion of our build. I'm going to start X Aircraft Center. I'm going to assume that um, I have my USB cable with a dongle on it. This is what the software recognizes to connect to the X aircraft system. It's not connected to the aircraft, but it is connected to the X aircraft programming system. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to bring the programming cable, the four pin cable, out of the aircraft here and uh, I'm going to connect it to the uh, USB dongle. Uh, this is why we left this out here so we can get to it to program it. So I got that in view of the camera. No. Uh, anyway, there's our dongle. There's our four pin cable. The, the, the four little ridges on top there is our top side. And I always look at this as my top side of my dongle. So I'm going to plug this in here. So, uh, you can't see it, but the uh, you can there, you can see uh, the flashing of the uh, ESC in here. Okay, now when I go to hit connect on our software, here's our dongle connected, we'll go back to our software. I don't have the radio hooked up to this yet, so the receiver's in there, but it would kind of skip in a step. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click connect on our software. Now we have a red. Try to get this in view. A fast red and green flash on our dongle. That means we are connected to the aircraft. This is your home screen for your software, and we are connected to the aircraft. We have um, here's our GPS, and it means we have the GPS option. The HRS is connected. There's a screen for our gimbal, but we don't yet have a gimbal attached. And this is our RC profile page. Uh, it's showing active, although we don't have a radio connected. I'm going to bind to this receiver. <clears throat> then we'll go through some of the programming on the radio. This is our flight control screen. This is stick gains. This is attitude control gain, auto leveling gain, position and height control gain. If you when you mouse over things, it's going to give you the information here in this right hand corner box while we're on the flight control screen. Why what each one of these different sections does. If you notice I'm on this section, the auto leveling gain gives you the information here. I'm on the attitude control gain. Again, new information here. Go to the stick gain, explains it there. Go here to the position and height control gain, explains the error differentials there for setting that up. And this, this of course is the X aircraft 650 VA. It knew that so it, it pulled up that profile. This is our RC screen, which has to do with our radio setups. I'll, I'll explain more of that. So I'm going to, um, there's our gimbal setups. As you, as you mouse over these, that would be a shutter if you use a camera trigger. Uh, your tilt, it's called pan here on this box, but it's actually the roll axis of, the ca of a camera mount. There's minimum and maximums. This is your central point of your servo travel, lowest point and highest point. And you can also divert if your uh, camera mount is not compensating 
for movement, but adding to movement, then you, of course your direction is reversed. You can reverse that channel in your radio. Actually, you can't. Um, uh, it's my mistake. You reverse it here by your directional change. Right there. It's the same on the, both the tilt and the pan, not on the uh, shutter. Anytime we make changes in the software, we've got the down here we can save it. It's right there. I'm looking at the camera, so it's there. So anyway, that's our programming screen that you're going to see when you uh, start your programming and you're connected. Try to center this better and zoom in a little more. I'll lock it there for the moment. Okay, I'll come back to uh, record some more in a minute once I get my... I'm going to go ahead and uh, bind my radio to the receiver in the aircraft and then start, really start showing you how this software works.